pray that you're doing well today. It is uh, late August of 2020, and I'm sitting outside on my in my driveway watching my two littlest ones ride their bikes. And just thought I'd check in with you right quick. Um, pray that uh, you're doing well if you're part of our church, certainly. But any, any and everywhere, I pray that you're doing okay through COVID-19 and national stuff going on, to say the least. Um, you know, I'll just say it again, at the risk of being redundant, there are some things that God has put in His Word that are, quite frankly, distasteful to modern minds and hearts. They cut deeply across well-established cultural grains. They sound to modern ears like crazy talk, uh, old-fashioned, perhaps even patriarchal, maybe a little paranoid, uh, not in keeping with modern thought. But I say to you again, God's word is sufficient. And uh, like the writer of Hebrews reminds saints from all generations, we would do well to heed them, heed the precepts of the Lord. And so I would encourage you to look carefully at how your family is constructed and what you're doing to disciple your children and build up your family, how you are handling God's time, his talents and his treasures, um, what kind of church you're a part of, and what does it believe, and how is it structured, and what's it trying to do. Um, it matters, and we're in very difficult days. So it, all these things, they have always mattered, but they certainly matter now. And so hopefully you'll receive this as some encouragement to, to attain unto sola scriptura, to in the Spirit of God and by the grace of God and in love and in mercy and in kindness hold to the truths of the Bible hold on to the Bible hold on to the Bible hold on to the Bible God said it y'all that settles it and fighting God's Word has gotten us here man's word over top of God's Word has has resulted in where we are and so let us repent no true revival, no true reformation happens without repenting and turning back to the scriptures. Let's do that. Love you.